Good morning. Uh, <laughs> once again, my own sound of radio is a mood chat to you, say, or Tamilon juice, I don't even know. Mm, cheers. Uh, oh, <laughs> cheers. Yeah, sugar. <laughs> Secure. Of course, why you do my bread? But yeah, this morning, yes, see Jume I don't know. Uh yes, techno presenting uh some items to the black stars. Who bet my boy in Chemu? Yes, techno mobile are presented uh come on 19 mobile phones to the players, the black stars players uh, here at the team hotel in our side. Now obviously techno mobile is dedicated to quality you know, to consistency, to the preservation of anything that is good. And that is some of those are the values that the Black Stars also be sharing to give joy, to give, you know, um, meaning to the World Cup, to millions of Ghanaians in Ghana and around the world. And indeed, Africa. Ghana is one of the five um, African flames here at the World Cup. And techno feels that by supporting them, it also means they are connecting with the people who have invested emotionally. So Techno is also investing um, not just, you know, the visibility with the Black Stars, but beyond that. And we had a, a ceremony here not long ago where the players received theirs. And very shortly, the management uh, later on would also receive theirs. The coaches, the technical uh, team and others will receive theirs. So we're here just to um, make sure that the message from Techno is carried across. Now, I yeah. saw a similar thing being done somewhere two years ago uh, when Techno presented some phones to uh, players of Manchester City. And the excitement, you know, now was through, not because of Wintiminto phone, but, I mean, they know what Techno brings. What is the excitement uh, uh, amongst the players? So I saw a free ban here in the shot, and he seemed uh, very excited. Yes, yes. Now you're very excited. I, I, you know, Yao has been a great ambassador to Techno. Techno for Omuti Omodeneka. Because he's using man, one of these. Man, man can't tell me. No, 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 I'm serious. I'm serious. And, and I'm, 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 on the lights on the Yeah, I'm going to tell you, you've been a great ambassador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's largely because, once <laughs> yeah, I was using one of these very phones in my players. And when the phones were distributed to them, I said, oh, what is it yeah. like? And I yeah, didn't the phone. So yeah, I was using his phone to actually, as an example for them. And they loved the cameras, they loved the videos, they loved how smooth it was to use the phone. So the excitement in the camp, the excitement with the players in the techno for phone now, and I think it's a techno because when him said the first social media World Cup was 2010, and that was termed as the Twitter World Cup. We know at the time in 2010, Twitter was more of words, and even now, Twitter is predominantly words. This World Cup is being tagged as the TikTok World Cup, and that you need videos and pictures for TikTok. Now, this techno phone here, Bono Abbasu, the NAID supported Black Star, techno for the supported Black Stars, no? it's videography and it's picture quality, are you good? So if you're looking at the TikTok World Cup and the players are going to be, you know, players are brands. And now the only way to carry your brand is to do that through social media. It's if the players are being are brands, not techno for air uh, supporting with techno, a phone with high quality picture and video. In a TikTok World Cup, I think the techno have been smart and they've chosen the right time to support the players. And the players can now go on and let me tell you, TikTok has signed their, their own persons oh, to help the national teams, you know, to boom their TikTok pages. And these people are around the team. And so they could help them use the technology that techno they have and to help them, yes. you know, become bigger brands on social media and carry themselves. I mean, it's super. Of course. Now, see, and then after a year presentation, you know, uh, what is the itinerary? You techno presentation. Uh, what will the Black Stars of Ghana be doing? And they are off day. And now I say they will be going to training. No, there's no off day now. I'm trying to uh, uh, pick out that scenario. Uh, there's no off day for the players because they, we only have a few days to go. So they'll be training today. It's the only medical syndrome training. So after every training session, no matter how it's passed by, they try to do a medical you know, a meeting to see if all the players are fit and how they responded to the drills. and Then they just finish their breakfast. They'll go in and rest, have their nap, and come back for lunch at 1 p.m. Only if you lunch, one of them will be a meeting, a video meeting. You are going to do a lot of taxes on the opening of me on the ball. Any and the other. The only there will be tape and then the medical treatment for players. Be almost feeling little knocks near the other. But the good news is that all twenty six players are fit, which means that meeting won't be too long. It will just be routine. Then they will leave for evening training. They will train at four thirty local time here here in, in Doha. They will have dinner at seven thirty, and then there will be a, a, the coach will meet the team. For practice analysis and every other thing I'm observing from training. 
then they have they, they, they go in and sleep and rest for tomorrow's activities and so that's the itinerary for today which is uh quite football focused and i'm sure the players actually watched that game between a yes and a uh, yeah, holland yesterday i mean omoho obviously they watch they saw how senegal pushed uh but unfortunately holland uh beat them what are the players saying i mean seeing the efforts at senegal the defending african champions eddie shame only one player made a comment you know just as the players left breakfast with the captain andre Ayu, he was um having a banter with uh, I, I think it was uh Salis, you know and basically what he was saying is that it's unfortunate. And then they switched to French. And basically, what they were saying is that, you see, you've got to be sharp. I think the players, they all watched the game right here in the um, conference room next to us. They watched it together. They made comments when goals were scored. They would be aware that in this World Cup, as in any World Cup, when your chances come, you have to take them. Yeah. And the captain of the team is a veteran of three World Cups. This is his third World Cup. Not a lot of players have played three consecutive World Cup. So he would know the value of missed opportunities. Yeah. Having himself missed the semi-final, uh, sorry, the quarter final against, against uh, Uruguay. Uruguay in 2010, he would be very much aware. He would be telling the younger players, even his peers, that look, when we get chances, we have to bury it. It's so important. And we've seen that example with the well-drilled Senegal team, but clearly they missed the leadership of uh, the clinical Sadio Mani. And having said that, the reaction is the, the feedback has been good. The Senegal, wow, yeah. what an improvement. The Senegal, you know? Senegal, which may they can be proud of their performance. I mean, I think so they played well, but as you mentioned, as of any tournament, the, one of the most important things for any tournament is how much you can concentrate. So when you look at the goals Senegal conceded and the time they considered them, these are times in games that when I, you are beginning to feel tired, your legs are beginning to feel heavy, concentration starts dropping. If the teams say on concentration level on air drop and are in Israel, they tend to suffer in major tournaments around that time of the game. But when you look at the goals of Senegal Consi, especially the first half on Gakwan, was well, straight away on the blind side of Kulivalia or Fanichi. The, the left back didn't tack in, Mendy was late with the starting run, then there is a goal. So these are the little things that in and amongst themselves they are discussing. In and among themselves, they've seen, they are learning. These are players, they learn, they improve, they want to learn from situations. And see the, so it's good that they see the games, and it's good they saw it, and it's good they're having these discussions amongst them. If they can keep their concentration at 110% throughout the 90 minutes and more, then you know that some of these little lack of concentration that Senegal for exhibiting and drum, they can cut them out. And so for me, the spirit in the company are very good. The players communicating and living together as one group, and that is the more important thing, as one group. No real factions, but unity in order. And the cohesion we, we, we can imagine so on the match day, see it on the pitch uh, what i am observing from this walk up is over said there will be a lot of water breaks due to the high humidity and the weather no but we are not seeing that is it that uh the weather has changed and it's favorable now because you know these numerous water breaks they talked about in yeah interestingly on the first night the opening night after the match ended and we were interacting with the fans suddenly the temperature dropped and oh. it was breezy it was windy yeah and very cold maybe not as cold as you have in you know typical yeah, european yeah, settings right. but the, the temperature clearly dipped and you would notice that the qatari or those who are used to this weather were well dressed because they know and that began perhaps a sequence or from then on you'll have the coldest um time of the year so when you go out don't be mis you know be deceived by the sun and the heat from six seven going the very temperature cold. dips and that also brings to mind what people were saying earlier, that Ghana may have an advantage in, in conditions. That will not be the case because the weather will be the same. The Portuguese will be comfortable. And Ghana is game at 7 p.m. Local, local time, which is for in Ghana. It's in Ghana. So there would be no, you know, in terms of the, the heat, it will, be, it will not be as we played against um, Switzerland. So that, that, that is something we have to tell you about. It is winter now. The yeah. winter has begun. That is why they call and it the Arabian winter, winter yeah, season. You know, I made a mistake when I went to the, the more recent training grounds with the Black Stars. Once I make my shorts, I like to wear shorts, uh, the flex in short. Guy, guy. Guy, guy, some nice legs, some things. So I go wear shorts with him, compare him water, I'm share shorts, I'm share this shirt, he be a short sleeve scene, I'm a cold training ground. And the training was started around five. It's a ball bear six air color. But what should be brutal? Because it was, it was very cold and that is the weather. So now people need to get the memo set. The weather is getting into the past like Yahweh can. It's going to be cold for the rest of the 
the period, especially in the evening, since you know, now all of us are aware and all of us are prepped to us, dressing to see the weather. That's it, that's the NT area. Uh, we'll come back to you guys and see what happens uh, because we'll say there will be another presentation for the technical team. Yeah, that's an opinion. Uh, you guys should enjoy your drink. Uh, we'll come back to you because more boy, Juma, Juma, and one of them. Yes, I'm yes. yes. <laughs> going to see you and yeah, and all the way from Qatar telling us the latest from the Black Stars come.